Hey, good evening. This is Jack, my Apex Training Head Coach and CEO of Apex Training, BBC Baby. Yeah, so as you know, we're, we're in our cutting phase uh, challenge uh, coming up this Monday. Uh, today is um, October 13th, 2022. We're already like, I think like two, three weeks into the season of autumn. All right, so I'm gonna spend the next five to seven minutes kind of breaking down what is the Apex cutting phase, what, who came up with it, and why. I came up with this about four and a half years ago when my body weight was pushing 174 pounds. My blood pressure was the 140s over 88, and I just wasn't feeling good. I was approaching 50. I thought maybe this is just my menopausal thing or midlife crisis, AARP thing. And I realized even though I couldn't physically do a lot of things because of my surgeries, I could do other things to, to find my discipline. So this cutting face program is mainly to help people to lose weight. People think that it's all fat, but it isn't because we are in a country that enjoys inflammatory food. I like inflammatory food. I love fast food. I love pub food. I love food that's crunchy, sweet, salty, you know, burgers, whatever. Okay, but let's get past that. So cutting phase. Cutting phase is a 30 day program in which it is basically for, it, it, it defines what it is. It's cutting out things that that cause inflammation, loss of concentration, high body weight, ele elevated blood glucose. Rule number one, the only thing that you can, can consume the next 30 days is either water, tea, or um, coffee, all right? Uh, sweeteners, you can use maple syrup or agave, uh, even honey, all right? So no stevia, uh, no saccharin stuff, um, no cane sugar, even if it's organic, okay? I'm serious. Water, coffee, or tea, right? Okay, no alcohol, all right? No diet soda, no fun. It's only for 30 days. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, second thing is when you shop for your, your produce, all right, so fresh is best. Frozen a second, avoid anything that's canned. If you if you have to open it with a can opener, don't eat it. All right. If it has a shelf life, like six or nine months, don't eat it. All right. So an example here, I just happen to have this. I purchased this tonight as an example of a vegetable. It's green onion. Asians love it a lot. I love it. I like it. I mean, I mean, you don't have to kind of eat it like you're gonna eat it. It's just you know broccoli, whatever, um, cauliflower, bok choy celery, you can steam it. Speaking about food prep, how you prep your food, nothing fried. Uh-oh, right? So you have to either be baked, steamed, boiled, all right? Another thing is like, I would refrain from microwaving your food, but if you have to, that's okay. No judgment on that. But no fried food, even your baked foods, nothing with wheat flour, any type of grain. Oatmeal is okay. Um, so like the Bob Mills muesli is great. Oatmeal is great. Uh, try to avoid basically no corn, nothing with wheat. Um, any processed things like pasta, bagels, tortillas, I uh, know noodles. Ah, no, say it ain't so. Right. So yeah, only for 30 days, right? It's less than 10% of a year. All right. So other things, um, you, so what do I do for carbs? Well, you, you do sweet potatoes, right? This is a, a, a purple sweet potato. This is a, just a regular yam type of thing. Yam, 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 a yam or a yam. All right, so I got these two varietals, varietals at Safe Mart. You can go to Nugget, you go to Safeway, it doesn't have to be fancy. Reason why sweet potatoes are okay, it has a low glycemic index burn. So, which means no potatoes. I know, it's like, what, no potatoes, but it's natural. It's, it's like white bread, okay? So we're trying to decrease the, the inflammatory burn, all right? Sweet potatoes gonna be your best friend. How you prepare, prepare them? You wash them, you stab them with a fork, kind of massage them with some olive oil, wrap it up in foil, put it in the oven that's preheated to 425, bake it for about an hour and 15 minutes, all right? Let it cool down, Cut them into inch size wedges. You can eat them cold, warm them up, but that's what's gonna keep you from becoming hangry and lightheaded. All right, so other things you can eat are nuts, all right? Walnuts, that's not a walnut, those are almonds. 
walnuts, almonds. Um, try to avoid things like uh, cashews are okay. Just watch the macadamia nuts. No tree nuts. What? What? I mean, no tree nuts. Excuse me. No like legumes. Peanuts are considered a bean, so no beans. No beans about it. All right. So again, uh, other things, meat, you can have basically chicken, beef, pork. Uh, be careful, no sauces, no barbecue sauces, right? It's like, oh, so boring. You can do salt, you can do dry herb, okay? So what do you do for snacks? So anyways, for snacking, just basically nothing that has like sugar to trip your insulin level up. So we're trying to quiet the pancreas. You're trying to keep everything low and slow, all right? So. What you're gonna see is the first three days, it's gonna be all right. Day three, you're gonna to wanna to throw in the towel. How I know this? Because I wanna throw in the towel every time on day three. It's just your body's kinda of going through a shift. It's figuring out, it's like, hey, where's my carbs? Where's my sweets? Where's my beer? What happened? What's going on? All right, so you get past it. Day five and six, it gets better, all right? And then second, third week into it, by that time you probably lost like five or seven pounds. Same thing happened. And then it'll trip itself again, meaning that it'll restart. And so you'll end up, ideally on average, anyone that's gone through this, they've lost really on average like 10 to 12 pounds, okay? So with a cutting phase, five, five, five basic rules. Nothing processed. The only thing you drink is water, tea, or coffee, all right? Nothing fried. So really no carbohydrates with exception of basically oatmeal, muesli, or some form of sweet potato. It's only for 30 days, right? All right so if you have any, like meat, uh, the less feet, the better, right? Birds are better than, you know, cows, pigs, or whatever. Fins are even better. Even, even with your, your fish, just be careful that it's not a farm because of the chemicals and everything. So um, hopefully this lends some idea as to how you can mitigate some of this, um, uh, what the apex training Phases. It's basically to cut body weight, to cut waistline, cut inches, to basically turn over your microbiome. So the cravings are not as strong. You can't go wrong, right? So check it out, try it out. Call me if you have any questions. This is Jackie, my Apex Training BBC. Let's do this, get this done. I believe in you. And you know, like I'm saying, let's just let's just let's just do it, man. 30 days. You can do it. Come on, I'll do it with you.